Hey guys, me again with another YouTube video and today you're sitting through LDD Digital Designer Tips, Tricks, and Hints number 9. And this will be it for a little bit because I haven't done these in a while and that's all. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the camera the most effective ways. And what I mean by that is how you're viewing your model. Uh, these four arrows that you see in the corners and everything, the controls that you see down here, every single thing that you need to know on how to navigate around your model correctly. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and get started with the very, very basics. Uh, what you're looking at is version 31 of my Republic ATOT dropship that's been converted into a gunship. Um, so, yeah, as I said, we're going to start with the very basics. We're going to start with these four arrows that you see there. Um, this arrow makes the model turn this way, like so. This arrow makes the model turn this way, like so. This arrow makes it go this way, so. And this arrow down here makes it go this way, so. So that's how that works. Those four arrows just simply navigate around your workspace. Uh, hold on, let me readjust here. Um, the more... Uh, how should I say this? The more normal way, not the normal way, the more um, just instinctive way to do it is to right click and hold on the mouse and you can drag it, your mouse anywhere you want to go. And it's just, it's a lot smoother, it's a lot easier to get to where you want it to go. This you kind of have to like stop in certain parts while whenever you're using the mouse to do, mouse to do this. You can start in a you can stop in a precise place, so that's how <coughs> I would do that. Um, so yeah, uh, the other tools that we're going to talk about is this one and then the two next to it. So the this one right here, the tool with the arrow in it that's making a full revolution. That tool is the master reset camera tool. And what I mean by master reset is, is it does this. Okay, well, I can't call it a master reset. Basically, all that tool does is it uh, focuses the entire camera around your model. So let's say I zoom in really far and you have no clue what you're looking at. Well, whenever you press the master reset button, it focuses the camera automatically back on your model, like so. So... And that's what that button does. If you have a really big model, that's really obviously really helpful and whatnot. Um, and then the two buttons right next to it, the one with the plus and minus in it. Okay, so what happens is, obviously you click the plus, you zoom in. Obviously you click the minus, you zoom out. Like so. Um, yeah. Um, the trick and the shortcut for the zoom in and zoom out is if you have a wheel on your mouse, and by wheel I mean that little circle thing that goes in the middle that you zoom up, you, that you scroll with on web pages and whatnot. If you have one of those on your mouse, you can use that to zoom in and out like so. That's what I'm doing. Uh, the shortcut to reset your camera angle is actually the number pad 5, like so. And then the number pad six will move it like the move the camera angle like so. Number pad four will move the camera angle like so. Number pad eight will move the camera like so. And number pad two will move the camera like so. So yeah. And then I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So the plus button on the number pad will zoom in. The minus button on the number pad will zoom out. So you can do all your controls off of the number pad, not even have to do it off the mouse, not even have to do it off the screen. You can do all of it off the number pad, like so. So yeah, um, since I've just always used a mouse, it's more easy for me. It's easier for me to use the mouse. So that's what I'm going to be using. That's what I've always used in all of my videos. I've always used the mouse. So yeah. Um, I'll do a review on this after this video actually. So that's basically it for moving your camera. I showed you guys the number key shortcuts down here. You can hardly see them. 
you know, the 8, the 4, the 5, the 6, the 2, the plus and the minus. That's how that works. And then the mouse, it's got the little uh, wheel on it right there. Zooms in and out. Right, right click, right click and hold to drag the screen around. Oops. To drag the screen around like so. And then that's basically it. So you guys know everything now. You know the keyboard shortcuts. You know how to use the mouse. You know how to use the templates on the computer itself. I hope that guy that really helped you guys with navigating around your workspace. Um, I know whenever I first started, it was really confusing how to navigate around the workspace. So yeah, I'll